Today I've got a John Deere 324. This one has obviously been sitting out in the weather a lot. I'll take some 600 grit sandpaper, sand the entire hood, wet sand it. Even if you have really deep scratches or gouges in them, since it's a polycarbonate hood, the color goes through the entire thickness of the hood. So you can actually take this hood and sand a lot of material off of it, and then I'll polish it with an aggressive polish, but obviously had something laying on it right here. They've had something covering that up, but the rest of this you can see how chalk looking it is and how faded but you'll be amazed once I get done with this how this is gonna look now down here you cannot sand these parts as much because they are painted metal so you have to be a little less aggressive on these but that'll sand out you can also touch this up with paint if you have to but even that right there you know I'll not it won't completely get rid of that because that would take a ton of sanding but it'll get rid of a lot of it Now we got the sanding done. I'm just gonna take McGuire's. It's a number 12. I don't plan on going any finer than this. All right, now on the polisher, I use a pretty firm pad and I run a pretty high speed when I polish too and just keep moving. You know, that's one trick if you've never done this with a polisher, especially on a painted surface. You wanna keep the polisher moving, but we'll go ahead and get started here. once I get done polishing it is just take some John Deere green and go over and touch up all these nicks and scratches but I just go over and touch up all these little spots that the paint is nicked or chipped on and I didn't even show you that but nice little paintbrush for doing touch up just a simple q-tip just get a q-tip throw it away when you're done once I put that on there I'm just trying to fill in the void so I'll take something and wipe across the top of it you wipe too much off just touch it up again Really on these deep scratches, all you're trying to do is fill in the void, get the paint, you know, put it on heavy, get it down in the crack really good, and then just take a paper towel or something and wipe over the top of it, get all the paint off the upper surface and just leave it down in that void or that crack or the scratch. And you can also come back over that and polish it after you get done if you'd like. Well, she sure ain't brand new, but she's a lot better than where she started. All right, guys, sorry about the audio quality on some of this video. I didn't realize it, but the 9-volt uh, battery on my microphone had died. So I had to use the audio off of my secondary camera. So I know some of it doesn't sound so good. But anyway, we got it fixed now. We'll get back into putting this thing back together and try to wrap this video up. When I get done getting all the footboards and the seat and everything back on, I'll go around and I'll show you a comparison side by side on how much difference this is going to make. All right guys, now that I got this all polished and wiped down, a couple things I wanna to confess to you here that I did not show on video. One is I used a product called Coverall. 
and went around and used this on the tires and you'll see when I do the walk around what this does I mean it's kind of like an armor all product you can buy it by the gallon off of Amazon I'll put some links to stuff that I used in this video down below too so if you want to check them out uh, give you an idea what I'm using. I've used it on the footboards, on the dash, and on the tires. It gives me a lot of pride. I know there'll be people that comment on this video, it's a mower, why would you spend that much time and effort to, to dress it up? I just think it looks good and it reflects good if you're a mechanic or something and you're doing this as a small time hobby. I think cleaning them up like this really helps to sell them and it really helps to make it show that you know you care about what you do. You have to enjoy it too. I enjoy doing this. All right guys, now that we got this thing all uh, polished up and wiped down, I'll do a walk around with it here and I'll split the video so you can kind of see the before and after side by side. One thing that always amazes me on a mower like this, these aren't cheap mowers. The number of these things that I find that people just leave them outside, they don't even put a cover on them. You know, I understand you don't have a place to put them inside, put a cover on it at least. But anyway, I love getting them because they're easy to clean up. And when you see the side by side here to take something like this that really looked like crap to be quite honest about it, and make it look not showroom new. You could, if you really wanted to take some really fine sandpaper and polish this up. It's a mower. You know, if this was a car, I would obviously not use 600 grit paper on it. I'd use probably start with 1200 or something a lot finer. And also with the polish, I would have used a finer polish. But anyway, it is a mower. You know, when I look at this with my naked eye, I can still see 600 grit sandpaper scratch marks. Most people aren't looking that close at a mower. You know, they're looking for something to cut their grass that's gonna get dirty anyway. But anyway, that's another story. We can talk about that in the comments below if you want. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get to this. I'll do a walk around. I'm gonna try to match the video up as close as I can to the original video I did when it was all faded and then I'll overlap them and put them side by side. So anyway, let me do that and then I'm gonna wrap this, this video up. Guys, also, if you are not subscribers to my channel, I've got a lot of projects coming up. If you subscribe to this channel, you get notifications. Some of you may have noticed an old Kohler Courage single cylinder engine sitting over here in the corner. I've had that engine forever. It came off of a mower that had a bad rear end in it. And I know some of you guys that work on these things are thinking, you know, a Kohler Courage survived and the, mo and the rear end was bad. I, I know that's rare, but I've got one. What I plan to do is I have a zero turn that I picked up that has a bad single cylinder Kohler Courage on it and I'm gonna swap that motor out on it. That'll probably be my next video. I got a few projects I'm working on, but I'd say that'll probably be the one I get in here uh, and get done because I wanna have that ready to go in spring. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and get you a walk around here and I'll show you everything that I've done. Try to explain it as best as I can. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You know, I really do appreciate it. I'd love for you guys to stick around and see what I can do in the future and see if I can build this channel. But anyway, I'll go ahead and grab the camera. I'll do a walk around on this thing and then I'm gonna wrap it up and be done. Thanks guys. All right, I'm not sure exactly how I went around this thing with the original video, but I know there was some key spots and I'll make sure I hit those spots. You know, one is that scratch right there more of a gouge than a scratch. But I know this entire hood was, was chalky and faded looking. And I don't know how well that's showing up, but you can still see scratches in there. I mean, like I said, this is not a show car, it's a mower. All I'm trying to do is make it look better than it did. Scratch there that's still visible, but here was a big one. You know, I, I, you could take the time to really file or sand that out, but again, it's, it's just not worth it. You know, saying I use the coverall on the tires and the footboards and I'm pretty sure I went over this. I think when I did the original video, the footboard was already off, but you can kind of see where I touched that up there. You know, I call that the 10 yard fix. Step back 10 yards and it looks fine. So you can see what the coverall tire shine does. 
and there was a scuff right here on this corner. I might have missed a little polish there, but I missed it a little bit. I may take the polisher and go over that a little bit, but do you remember the scuff mark that was right here? That's pretty much gone. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell down there. It'll notify you whenever I post a new video. And let's work together on this. Thanks, guys.